Okay, so let's talk about how we can install the bun on the window system. Uh, to install the bun on the window system, what we need to do is first we need to click search and when you click on the search, then it will open and you will search window features. Once you select window feature option, then what will happen? This pop-up will come. When this pop-up will come, what we need to do is we just need to select one option called window subsystem for the Linux. So by default, mine one is already selected. What you can do is you can select yours, right? You can select or unselect it. But for this session, if you want to install uh, bun on the windows, you just need to select it, then click OK. Then what do you need to do? You need to go to search and search for the Ubuntu system. If this Ubuntu is not available in your system, then you need to search the store and download the Ubuntu system, right? So in my system, the Ubuntu version is, if you want to see, it's 20.04, right? 20.04.6 LTS version, right? So now what we need to do is we, we want to install the bun in my system, right? What we what we can do is we will create one project tree. It's a demo one, CD demo. Okay, then what I will do is I will create one more directory. It's called the bun, right? CD bun. What we do is we will install the bun inside this folder. What we can do is we will jump to the uh, website, bun website, and copy this command. And then we paste it. You can see that. What happened? Okay, so it's it gives us error. The unzip is required to install the one. What we can do is first we need to install the uh, command. First we need to do the first we need to enter the command to install the unzip package, right? So what we can do is sudo apt install unzip. Okay, so you can see that the, this package is being installed. Okay, let's wait. Okay, yeah, so it's being installed. What we can do is now we need to run the command again. Okay, so you can see that the it's uh, when we entered this command, it started the process. We, we have to wait for some time to get it installed. What it will do is it will install our bun. Okay, so the bun is successfully installed. Ping. Now we need to check the path uh, where the bun is being installed. Mean to say we just need to do the nano this command okay i just pasted here uh, make sure uh, you will put the same command which i am entering here just enter you can see my screen at the end of the screen you can see okay so the bun is installed in my system i have already installed the bun in, in my system so that's why it's added the path two times i'm just moving the one so in your system, when you will uh, try installing it first time, it will make an entry only one time. Okay, so we have removed the extra part from this my terminal. So what we can do is now we can exit and go to the main screen. Okay. Yeah. So now our bun has been installed. We have successfully set up the path inside the bash RC. Now what we can do is we can go to the uh, VS code and check that whether the one is being installed or not. Just open it. Code dot to open the VS code. Okay, I just need to allow the. Yep. Now you can see. Okay, so it's in a now the I have a bun folder. Okay. Yeah, I have a bun folder with me, right? So what I can do is. I can just open the terminal to check that whether the bun is being installed. Check bun version here, bun version. Okay, okay. So you see that the bun is not recognized as a name or the command, right? So what you can do is, so you have to make sure that uh, here by default it's selected PowerShell, right? So you just you can't select the PowerShell. You just need to select the Ubuntu here, right? If I select Ubuntu, now I need to check that whether the bun is being installed or not. What is the bun version? Okay, uh, bun hyphen hyphen version. Okay, boom. You can see that it's a 1.0.1, the bun version is being installed. So the next step is that we will create a one file inside this uh, folder. The file name would be index.js. Okay, inside the index.js, what we can do is uh, we can uh, we can go to the documentation and copy this default code, okay, to run the uh, server on the 3000 port uh, with the burn serve method, right? So the and now we need to check, okay, 
I pasted this code, what I need to do is bun index dot js. Okay, you can see that it's started my server on the localhost 3000. Okay, so my server is running on localhost 3000 port. What you can do is you can go to the browser and check that whether the server is up and running or not, right? Just jump and build the browser. Boom, my server is running on the 3000 port. Okay, this is all about this session. Uh, if you like it, please click on the like button and subscribe button to subscribe my channel. I just added the NestJS playlist. Please go and check it out. I have covered uh, the architecture topic on the NestJS. Uh, we'll meet you in the next video. Thank you.